In some regions of the planet, such as the scrub forests of Namibia, insects such as praying mantises are particularly abundant, and they compete to eat other insects, including other mantises. Praying mantises are extraordinarily efficient hunters, adapted to capture comparatively large animals. Their eyesight is prodigious. They have spiny claws, which are perfect for holding on to any prey, and their jaws are capable of cracking the toughest protective chitin exoskeleton. There are mantises of all sizes, with each species having its own preferred prey. Their voracity means that there's plenty of competition for the same resources, especially if two individuals of the same species find themselves on the same branch. It's a tense moment. Who will attack first? Will one mantis eat its comrade? But among European or praying mantis, an honor code exists. They will not attack each other nor fight to the death. Rather, they commence a protracted, curious contest. Their death-delivering forelegs are now employed as a means of communication. A total war of signals and gesticulations, a conflict of intimidation that allows both to escape unscathed. The battlefield negotiations are long, and casual observers, at first fascinated, seem to lose interest. Except for this large predatory bush cricket, approaching cautiously. The signal war ends in a peace that seems to satisfy both belligerents, who take a break. One of them retreats to a nearby branch to acknowledge their opponent's victory. But this species of cricket, a saga pedo, seems not to recognize the truce. This is another formidable hunter, and it prepares to ambush the victorious mantis. So engaged were the mantis in reaching a peace treaty, they were distracted from their other equally hungry enemies. Saga Pedo rarely let an opportunity pass, and after eating one of the mantises, the other, also resting after the anxious negotiations, becomes the cricket's second course. The two mantises lost their lives in a terrible irony eaten while exerting their power over the very territory that provides them with food. <laughs> 